Hi, I'm Charlie Slate, and I'm participating in Greenville Open Studios. I'm a textile surface designer, and I work in my basement studio. In a surface design studio, there are many necessary features, including large padded tables where I can stretch and pin fabrics down. I have both a regular sink and a large floor sink basin where I can fit up to six dye buckets at a time. Of course, a stove is required, as many processes are done by boiling. Outside the door is a fabric steamer, and I need a vast amount of storage, both for dyes, chemicals, equipment, and finally for the completed pieces. Among the techniques I use are vet dye discharge, low-level immersion dyeing, batik, shibori, and marbling. I also do a bit of painting, cyanotype, embroidery, and printmaking, and I like to mix all these together to get one-of-a-kind results. Here you see an Arashi Shibori scarf that was previously dyed using low-level immersion dye method to get a random mottled look. Then the fabric was folded and clamped, dyed again to make repeat patterns. Finally, the piece was wrapped around a pole with string and pushed up to form pleats, then dyed with boiling acid dye. It's dried on the pole, and when it's removed, it looks like this. I add beads to the points for weight so it doesn't blow around so much on a windy day. This wall hanging contains a dozen cyanotypes of my herb garden. I used low-level immersion dyed fabric for the cyanotypes, so there is a mottled color beneath the blue. Marble silk makes up the long borders with rayon silk dyed velvet in the corners. I added a slightly randomized feather stitch embroidery to finish it off. Here's another example of combining techniques. This scarf has marbling, bat dye, and arashi shibori elements in the same piece. If you'd like to discover more of my unique fabric creations, do come visit during open studios.